Okay, welcome to this tutorial on polyrhythm clock and RAND gates, which is part of my VCV rack modules uh, called Shebang. Now I'm going to start with the polyrhythm clock, and uh, on the surface it's basically like a regular clock. You got your tempo knob, your on button, and external input, which I'll show a little bit later. And then you have all these different outputs. You have your main output, and then you have rhythm tuplet one, two, and three, which are based on their parent rhythms. Um, tuplet one is based on this main rhythm here, and then it kind of goes. Uh, each rhythm is sort of a child of its of the of the uh, previous one. Now I have these hooked up to these two drum synthesizers here. Uh, but just let's just hear uh, just let's just start with two to kind of try to understand what's going on um, so right now we're just hearing we're just hearing uh, quarter notes at 120 120 bpm now if I change tuplet one to a ratio of two to one it means it's going to play two notes for every one of these which would be an eighth note And then, of course, if I do three to every one, it'll do triplets. And we could do 16 notes, four to every one. Five. All the way up to 13. So you can go all the way up to 13. Um, now, obviously, um, if I want to, you know, say I have these triplets, but I don't want them to be like uh, eighth note triplets. I want them to be quarter note triplets. Well, in that case, and if you're a musician, you know what I'm talking about. If, um, or if you can read music, you know what I'm talking about. If, if you can't, uh, <laughs> that might sound like nonsense, but um, either way, um, if I want to cut these that triplet in half I would instead of doing three for every one of these I would do three for every two of those like this so there's an eighth note triplet quarter note triplet or half and this essentially acts like a multiplier or a divider just um, it just uses a ratio, which is basically what both of those things do. It, it can do whatever you want, essentially. Um, now, another cool thing about this is that uh, there's a probability knob for each of these tuplets that is built in. So if I do 16 notes here, you know, you can start creating some cool rhythms or something. Or if you do do it really fast. <laughs> you can create some like kind of randomized, uh, I don't know, laser thing or something. Anyway. Uh, so let's uh, attach these other ones. So I'm going to attach this to this snare sound here, and then I have another one that's a little higher pitched so we can hear the difference. Um, now, if I do... Um, that's all of them. If I make this quarter, uh, eighth notes, so now triplet one is playing two notes for every one of, of the, the, main, the main rhythm, which means that with tri uh, tuplet two and tuplet three set to one-to-one -one ratios, it means they're also gonna be doing that same rhythm. Um, so each time I change tuplet one, it's gonna affect two and three. Um, uh, so it, if I if I do t in tuplet two, a two-to-one ratio, it's not gonna play eighth notes in this particular case. It's going to actually play 16th notes because it's going to go twice as fast as the 8th notes right here. And then it's also true of, of tuplet 3. Um, now I can do, uh, so just to do like a little exercise, um, I'm going to, I'm going to make, um, you know, we're going to have quarter note 
in uh, this bass drum, the kick drum, at 120. And then I'm going to do eighth notes here in tuplet one. And then I want to do um, triplet eighth notes in tuplet two. And then I'm going to do sixteenth notes in tuplet three. Um, so we already have the eighth note. Now how do I do triplets in tuplet three? Because if I set it to three, that means we're going to get... We're actually getting um, like uh, sextuplets, which which is uh, because this is because tuplet one is set to two to one. Um, the way to get eighth note triplets is I, I need to have it play three notes in the space of two because that's what uh, is happening here. So if I set that there and then I play this. Now we're getting a, a quarter note, an eighth note, and then an eighth note triplet. So we got this cool little, uh, uh, a little three to two polyrhythm thing going on. Now, uh, how do I make triplet three play sixteen notes? Because if I do four, we're going to run into the same problem. It's going to play four notes in the space of these uh, uh, eighth note triplets. So let's. Had the probability turned down, so that's why I didn't hear anything. So obviously that's you know it's a cool effect, but that's not what I'm trying. To, that's not what I'm going for here. What I need to do is actually say four in the space of three. So I'm gonna turn off the triplets for now. So we we should hear quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteen notes. There you go. the probabilities here. Okay. Um, then the other feature that we have here is, uh, let's add another one of these, is I can go in here, I can change the external clock mode. It's going to do uh, 12 pulses per quarter note. Uh, you could do 24. Or if some people, if, um, if you're interested in like maybe one or two, uh, pulses per quarter note control. Um, let me know in like a GitHub issue or something, or even comment in this video. Uh, just you're just not gonna get as um, refined a um, control like if you're trying to do tempo changes or something. But anyway, um, so with that connected, and I start this. So the problem now is it's gonna get 12 pulses before it does anything. So I need to speed this way up if I want to do it. And then the tempo adjust here. Okay. And then, actually, let's set this. Let's get rid of that. So I can kind of play with the tempo here with another one. And, and this is good if you had like several connected, um, if you had several polyrhythm clocks and you wanted to control them with one. Okay, anyway, so let's let's move on to these random gates. Now, um, I made the random gates to specifically work with, um, actually, with polyrhythm clock because uh, there's four of these, there's four outputs here, or four inputs um, here, and then one output. And basically, if we wanted to like kind of create different rhythms, um, we can set, so I'm gonna do that same thing. We got quarter note, eighth note, triplet, and um, 16 notes here. And what it does is it takes a trigger, so every quarter note, because that's what this is based on, is going to trigger this um, uh, RAND gate to pick a, a randomly different input. And uh, so I have it plugged up to the snare drum, so let's listen to that. So 
you can hear it going between quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, and sixteenths. I could do something, uh, let's do something a little bit more interesting, like, uh, let's do, so we'll play like a little roll or something. Now, the bottom uh, knob is a weight knob. So if you want to hear, I have like this roll thing happening from tablet three. So if you want to hear that more often, then you can kind of weight it towards red in this case. If you want to hear more triplets, it's going to go towards the light blue. You can still play with the probabilities here, uh, like say, yeah, with the faster notes, it works a little better. <laughs> Let's wait it towards that. And let's just hear. Yeah, we get a little, a little tempo uh, reference point for our rhythms. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's, that basically covers the polyrhythm clock and how the RAND gates uh, works well with it. Um, so if you have any questions or issues, uh, use the GitHub issue, um, fill out a GitHub issue, or uh, send, write some comments in the video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>